Tonight, armed robots, remote, remote controlled mini tanks, a speedboat that turns into a submarine, an armed jet ski, just several of the gadgets the U.S. military can now use to protect actual troops in danger. CBS 4's Carter Evans shows some of them off for you. The first wave in the war of the future could begin with armed robots and drones that deliver bombs and supplies before the boots ever hit the beach. And Corporal Edmund Kennedy is happy to let machines lead the way. Better to have this thing be the first on the beach than you. Absolutely, sir. If I don't like being shot at, and I don't think any Marine likes being shot at, but if this could take the brunt of the assault, I think that's a great idea. The combination of Marines and machines is being showcased in a series of simulated amphibious assaults that includes swarming underwater drones surreptitiously mapping out the shoreline. Colonel Dan Sullivan. Now even a primitive uh, uh, adversary like ISIS is flying UAVs with explosive charges on them. So the pressure's on. The pressure's on. But putting so much faith in autonomous devices raises concerns over hacking. This is being designed with the cyber threat in mind. That is at the heart of this. And, and quite frankly, offensive cyber too. We've got to be able to, to attack his network while protecting our own. The first of its kind task force is exploring new inventions like this speedboat that turns into a submarine and a lethal unmanned jet ski. Navy Captain Chris Mercer is co-hosting the event. This feels a little bit like the Consumer Electronics Show for the Navy and Marines. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very, very much so, except for in this case, the judges are the Marines and the sailors. Can a Lance Corporal come up and say, you know, sir, I, I really don't like this. I think you should change this. Yes, they already have. <laughs> much of the new equipment is operated by remote control and is almost like playing a video game. Corporal Kennedy agrees. Did you ever think that you would be able to bring those video gaming skills to the job? Not in a million years. My mother told me it was a waste of time, but <laughs> look at me now, Ma. The Marines hope to use what they've learned about equipment like this to decide what they want to deploy on a large scale, and they now plan to bring it from the beach to the battlefield at Silicon Valley speed. Carter Evans, CBS News, Camp Pendleton.